hi RVers, hi YouTube, RV Lady here. And what you're looking at here is, look at this. And now, look at this. I went and got fuel for the RV. And as I was exiting the driveway, I this side of the RV bottomed out and ripped all of this backwards. So all of this has to be repaired, you know, professionally. I can't do this. And it just doesn't move. But you'll see I've included some footage of where I bottomed out. I don't know if the people who own that parking lot are at fault or if it is the city that is at fault but guess what somebody's paying for that and it isn't me so if I have to sue everybody I will because okay first of all I have the time I've got six months and this really really this really makes me mad okay okay just thought i'd share that okay here's the other thing i'm fine i figured out what's wrong with me and i want to thank everybody who said you know get well and be better and take care of yourself and all that stuff thank you that was very nice of you you didn't have to but i figured out what it is i'm back in the rv now i have on saturday morning um, my daughter and son-in-law said, hey, let's go out to breakfast. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, actually, I said no, and then they talked me into it, so I went. Um, I had Eggs Benedict. And actually, it was Eggs Florentine, I think. It was spinach, uh, no meat, just the eggs, the hollandaise sauce and spinach and... Oh, tomato. Okay. What I have done is caused my gallbladder to oh, scream. And that's what's been going on. I didn't realize, and yes, I did. In hindsight, you know, 2020, I realized that's exactly what I did is I loaded my gallbladder with too much crap oh and i got hash browns and i put hollandaise sauce over the hash browns okay <laughs> god i don't know what i was thinking and then i had a coke to go with that so i sugared and fatted myself into really a day and a half of oh my god um and it just, you know, you get back into, let's call it city living, and you just forget. It's, you know, kind of like going to the fair and eating cotton candy, and you think, why am I eating this again? Because I don't eat this. So anyway, I figured it out. Back on my regular, incredibly boring, you know, diet, I've everything has worked its way out my gallbladder has calmed itself 
and um, I'm just going to be doing a let's call it flushing for a few days and um, get everything back to where it should be um, yeah it hasn't made any sense and but once I thought about it you know the same question that every doctor that you've ever gone to says to you so what have you been eating yeah the hollandaise the fried food um all bad 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 for me anyway <laughs> i envy those people who can fry up potatoes or whatever and i can't do that i just i'm beyond those things now so learned my lesson won't do that again anyway um i feel fine i don't look fine but next week i want to say next week let me look i'm taking off for about a week because i just need to uh let's see is it next week yeah next week i'll probably be leaving here on the 16th and i'll return on the 23rd and i'm gonna stay in san diego county um stay close but i need to live the life that i like for just a week you know i want to do that so that's what i'm gonna do um get some sun get some exercise get my metal detector out have some fun um or at least things that i think are fun and um but yeah this is this is really difficult for me and um to be stationary to be so tied um yeah very difficult but I know once the baby comes, it's all going to be marvelous, and I'm going to be so happy to be here. But for right now, I just want out. <laughs> okay, so um, I got a lot of things to do today, but gallbladder attack, that's all it was. Okay. Thanks for watching. Be well. Be brave. Thanks for your concern as well. Oh, and my new tagline is going to be smile. Be brave.